Authorities are considering chartering a plane from Beijing so that Chinese parents can actually come and take custody of their surrogate children in Russia. With the borders having been shut due to the coronavirus pandemic, there's been a pileup of surrogate babies who are waiting for their biological parents to come and claim them. Some of them have been moved from hospitals to orphanages to ease the pressure on orphanages and hospitals. The Russian authorities are looking to charter a special plane for parents from Beijing. There's been a surge in demand for surrogate babies in China after the country scrapped its one-child policy in 2016. But since surrogacy is banned in China, parents have had to look elsewhere, mostly Russia and Ukraine, where the practice is permitted. The Child Rights Department in St. Petersburg has said that not all surrogate babies born during the pandemic have been located. The surrogacy agencies operate under opaque rules and are often unwilling to disclose information. From January to today, 128 birth certificates were issued. But some of these children, along with their parents, with a high degree of probability, left St. Petersburg before the borders were closed. But the pandemic has also revealed the drawbacks of Russia's surrogacy industry. Young women are often forced into surrogacy by wealthy parents from around the world. Since the beginning of the pandemic, so-called baby dens have been discovered with dozens of babies who are yet to be claimed by their biological parents.